There's nothing better than a soulful, satisfying, home-cooked meal. Living local intern Lauren Fury is back at the Mount Pleasant Farmer's Market, where she's on the hunt to make a healthy dish using fresh local produce. The catch? This college student is on a budget. Let's see what she can do. Ever wonder how you can stretch your dollars while getting some savory local produce? I'm here at the Mount Pleasant Farmer's Market getting as much as we can with $10. Ashley Missouri is training for a half marathon, so I'm determined to create her a clean and mean meal. So now we're headed to Rio Bertolini's Pasta, which is made right here in Charleston. Uh, they have a very colorful pasta here today, which is made out of all the dough that they chop off and combine. That's extra. Three <laughs> So now we just spend $2 getting two portions of pasta at Rio Bertolini's. Now we're off to get some red peppers and some zucchini and maybe some corn. Now that we've got everything we need, let's head to the kitchen. These farmer's market gems are in the spotlight in this summertime dish. This dynamite recipe will fuel Ashley through her upcoming half marathon. Local pasta company Rio Bertolini's takes their dough to another level. We are going to help these veggies shine by julienning the pepper, slicing the zucchini and the squash, cutting the corn off the cob, and finishing it all off with some sweet cherry tomatoes. Let's get chopping. What you can do is cut it in half and just kind of rip it out just like that. Then cut that bell pepper into thin strips. I ended up cutting the strips into squares in the end. This is bi-colored corn, but I think it tastes just the same. Let's get this zucchini and squash all cut up. Slice the corn down. It comes right off the stalk, just like that. And you just kind of rotate it. And so you'll see that there's all this like juice in the stalk. It's called the milk. And it adds the sugary flavor that we all love about corn on a hot summer day. All right, the veggies are prepped. Let's talk pasta, shall we? When you make pasta, you roll it out into a dough and then you cut off the ends. This pasta, coined the crazy pasta, is a mixture of some extra dough that Rio Bertolini's had. So it creates a colorful presentation. Make sure all the pasta strands are separated so they all get cooked evenly. In the meantime, let's get these veggies cooking. So this is um, some zucchini and the corn, and we're gonna do a slight saute on it, and a wooden spoon is good for this. So, let's do a little, and you don't wanna touch it too much because it has to get the toasted look up on it. Oh. All right, we have hot corn. If it falls on the floor, it's all right. So this is about done, and I'll add a little salt. Natalie Dupree taught me to cook by ear. You can hear your food changing as it cooks. I drain the pasta, reserving some of the pasta water. It helps make a nice sauce. The pasta is fresh, so it cooks quicker than if it were dried. The variety of ingredients are similar to those used in ratatouille. We have zucchini, squash, tomato, basil. I julienne the basil and slice the cherry tomatoes in half. And it's a really composed dish. We made it for $10. You can actually make two of these for $10. Let's see how it tastes. Let's see. Mmm. Here we have it. The summer corn, slightly sweet veggies, and delicate basil. They are all just inviting us in 
for a bite. It's your turn. You can find my recipe on Living Local's website. Now we're cooking. Come try it, Ashley.